<sighs> Another beautiful day to mod Skyrim. Welcome to the series. In case we're new, we're climbing the 10,000 steps. But instead of High Rothar, we're heading into the Nexus. And instead of 10,000 steps, our goal is 2,000 mods. So welcome to episode. Wait, what episode is this? Welcome to episode 10 of modding Skyrim Special Edition. <laughs> And very fast, let me apologize in advance, but did you know that only 5% of people who are watching those videos are subscribed? If you like those type of videos, feel free to like the video, to subscribe or comment anything. You can literally ask me anything down in the comment section regarding anything and I will always answer when you find issues installing any of the mods. Thank you for your time and let's continue. Of course I did not forget what episode it was. Oh, if it wasn't the only thing you forgot, Cavo. Shut up Nazim, nobody asks your opinion. Don't you hate it when you fight the ghosts both in Skyrim and in real life and it just feels super boring and unimmersive fighting them? Ghost Flicker fixes that. Because now, every time you hit a ghost, instead of just hitting them normally like in Skyrim, the ghost will actually flicker. Like that's happened in Dota, which I don't remember how it was called because I haven't played Dota for more than 10 years. As you can see, fighting goes much more immersive, you will actually have to use your brain for once and maybe use magic of other ways of dealing with ghosts. So it's a very small mod. I don't even know how many ghosts you can fight in game, but I love those really small mods add so much to the game. Small things like that is what I like. Always check the requirements, you just go here and download. Enemies respect encounter zones. It's kinda complicated for me to explain this, but the balancing in Skyrim and when it comes to the enemies you encounter it's kinda weird you might find a super high level enemy outside an area and once you enter inside a cave for instance you're going to find low level bandits and this works so well with most of the combat zone one of the best enemy level overhaul i've got not really big when it comes to scripts so again check the requirements nothing really special you go ahead and grab this next one something very small improve theater this is how the theater used to look like in the bard's college and this is how it looks right now it's really nice actually you will grab the main file and you will move your sexy body here as well and grab the gk bards pads because we're using gk Skyrim. also the man the myth the legend he created another beautiful statue mode mandragora the only reason i remember the name is because of that harry potter movie but this mod changes how Kinareth looks. As you're going to install it, you will go here, start of Kinareth, my patches, and you will grab some of the patches here. I'm sorry if it's some of my descriptions look more messy than my social life, but because YouTube only lets me use only 5,000 watts, I will not be able to squeeze all of the links here. Go ahead and grab the 2K version. I'm not using any of those mods. The only mod we're using is the GK Temple, and also go and grab the looks patches but Kavu, you're not using looks not yet but we will use looks very soon go ahead and grab recolor bound weapons this is going to add a variation of colored versions when it comes to bound weapons because i feel like bound weapons in skyrim they feel like uh, how to express this my teacher in my high school she goes overall fine but a little bit barren if you ask me so you really kind of want to enhance that if i may grab the main file grab the dark patch which is going to put special animations for your bound weapons which is super cool and i will highly recommend to pick the replace everybody's board of the original bound weapons so i can grab all of those files we will get to choose a color so don't worry too much about this go and grab don't see it bound weapons self-explanatory feels so immersive every time you see your bound weapons inside your pockets i mean who are you the wizard of oz or something go and grab the main file and it's going to add much more immersion where instead of seeing the bound weapons imaginary to your pockets now you will just dissolve the weapons meter so here we get the option for our bound weapons you can pretty much pick anything you like here i will go for the flame esl because it looks super cool let's go and grab sehai whoever the spirit i don't know why this mod is so underrated it keeps the same idea from the elder scrolls online and it adds this new power where you can use or forge new bound weapons and use those and it overholds your bound weapons you can 
can read the description here of how the mod works and how you get most of the stuff. Go and grab the main file and there is even a file for the MCO that we are using. Now, the next one is going to be quite tricky. I'm not going to put all of the links in the video description because there is so many files here. We're going to install every single file. Okay, not every single file, but all of the FYX files. Grab the lava one too. Essentially what those mods are doing for is, let's check the FAIX bot. It grabs some of the polygons and really bad matches from the bot and issues and completely reworked. Like you can see the difference when it comes to polygons and the smoothness of the object. All of the 30 mods we're going to grab from this nice man over here are going to fix things that static mesh improvement, noble skyrim, uv tweaks and all of those graphic mods that we've grabbed are not fixed. Again, will not fix probably and pretty much stuff that Bethesda and Dot himself would never fix works. anyway. Those are the mods you should get. Hot lava, head distortion, amazing mod to grab. Always check the requirements. Go and grab the alt Minecraft forge. Makes this grab one star forge location. It turns it into a five star forge location. And you can notice that it's beautiful. It doesn't cost anything. Just go and grab. You know you want it. Just do it. Go and grab the watch tower of solitude, the eastern empire company building, the rocked flag on, the black prior. Grab all of those here and install them. Always make sure to read some of the requirements of those mods because they might require you to get a different mod here and there. Smooth wells, if I remember correctly, it requires you to have some mods here and there. So go ahead and read those carefully and install all of those. I don't want to make those videos be an hour long. If you see all of my downloaded files, go ahead and grab all of those. Okay, very important, do not grab Riften because this is going to literally destroy your FPS. Don't get that one. Instead, grab the consistency of Widons with Riften. That should do it. Let's go and install all of those. I'm going to install five or six of those and the rest of them I'm just gonna skip ahead and again go for the Eastern Empire company building go for the requirements we do not use those it should be fine for us to install it you see here for instance there is a pass for SMIM that we have already and I'm going to grab this one always keep in mind for main files on the fix modes that require SMIM because they work together and we want that to be the case fresh rabbit and watchtower and grab the FPS pad always check the optional files too and do the same for the empire company building I'm really sorry for that I'm making sure you guys get everything done right so for instance you go to this file right here and you see even on the main files this amazing person has also links to warm you you know which mandatory file you should get let's go ahead and check that really quick Okay, that's for static mesh improvement. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this. Also for the fix files, so when you go to the main files, also go and grab the vanilla textures. We always want vanilla textures to save FPS. Doesn't matter where you are. We're gonna get that instead because vanilla textures do not count for custom textures, which will drain your FPS the same way taxes are draining your wallet. And that's the last thing you want. For the fix water splash here, you want to go all the way down and you want to grab the water for EMB. For the fixed 3D call in the shovel, there is an optional file right here which we are going to grab this because it's going to add ENB light on the smelter. I'm not sure if I have installed it already but we are going to grab the main file for the smelter here and we will grab the embers hd pads grab those two slots here and install them and now you want to go and grab the main file here as well i guess you can grab the ilsoft hd iron tools redone because that's apparently one of the required mods we need grab the hot fix and grab the 2k resolution and now we can go back and install the fix here but with the ilsoft texture but yeah we'll go down here on the last one and we're going to install the 2k textures with the ilsoft assault and that should do it. Go ahead and grab the scimitar tweaks for curve search. It's going to add special animations for the bound weapon mod we've used where you will get scimitars as bound weapons. So go ahead and grab both of those two files right here which will change how the curved weapon will play and also works with Sehai. Let's go and grab the static mesh improvement fix barrels too and go and grab the first file. We do not want to use custom textures. For the 3D stockades, first of all, go ahead and grab spice of life that changes how the orc strongholds would look like it's super cool and it's going to make again the orc strongholds feel so much more better so secondly you want to go down here and you're going to grab the first main file and you want to go to the spice of life fix 3d patches here 
and install that as well. And go and grab the no parallax with logs we will have to disable once we get logs. But just get it so we know that we need logs later on. I will recommend to grab the main file, it's a newer version and it's going to work much better for the 3D white run tree circle and go and grab this one right here which requires logs. I know we don't have logs but again we're going to install logs maybe on the next episode. Go ahead and grab storage of sky in 3D which will work very well with the fix mods and install that. And now you're going to go back to the fixed 3D stockades and install the second main file which is going to work for both of those. And we're going to fix all of the stockades to look absolutely symmetrical and so much better compared to the crappy vanilla ones. This is another one of those that fixes some of the weird scripts happening in some locations. A very small mod. Go ahead and install it. Let's go ahead and grab the skeleton replacer. You are going to encounter so many skeletons in Skyrim and you want them to look better. Have in mind we're not using immersive creatures because of how buggy the mod is. So every time you're gonna face one of those guys that deep inside you know it looks like you. You can at least fight them in all their glory. It also works for skulls, bones and things like like that. Always grab the 2k textures. I like this one right here that makes the skeletons look kinda much more scuffed instead of them looking super clean which makes no sense and it's unimmersive. I am going to grab this. I am not going to install it. I'm just going to have it in vortex so I'm not going to forget later on. That enhances most of the skulls you will find in the game. It works with the previous mode. It's really nice. And in this episode we're kinda doing a little bit of everything. ESL should be fine with this one. Get us some options. Do you like them to glow or not? I love the glow. I do have anniversary edition. I will go ahead and grab the base skeletons revised do not grab the original I'll grab this one instead which adds beach skeletons a very nice variety it's an extremely simple mode that changes some of the skeletons go and install the second main file here and install the main file let's grab the second file that that's in be light with some of the skulls which looks so cool i think i'm gonna grab rally's lava in my opinion it's the best looking one now we will go to sado oh and three one whatever the name is you get the idea you're gonna go here so again go for 2k textures this will add a nice dust effect that enhances how the door slides how it plays when the door slides let's go and grab simple snow improvements it improves some of the the snow variants none other of the snow mods are covering and also grab the simple snow improvement giant obelisks which is going to do that for the giant obelisk you will find with giants go and grab raising cold frost salts it's going to add a new texture that we can also add in be lighter later on we have the foul swamp fungal pod it overhauls this and it does an animation as well it doesn't take too much from your game if nothing at all and it adds immersion force from brutality it's going to add some places around where false form are as you can see to look a little bit more menacing it is not going to drain too much fps because again those locations are added in places where you don't really have that many things going on most of the times let's also grab immersive fallen trees and immersive fallen trees spots go ahead and grab landscape sim fixes too okay do you remember when we installed the fixed mesh lighting mode we want to go here and reinstall that because we've grabbed so many mods since the very first episode where we installed that. So we're going to reinstall that. Go and grab the Mercy for Downguard pads. But for now, leave it as it is. Go and grab this one. This Lomes fixes, Waterscape fixes. Go for Arctic 2. The Remastered Glaciers and Ice. I'm going to install most of those. Skeleton Replacer, we have this. And Bearers of the North. Let's go and grab the Unique Barbas. And there is even a Unique Barbas written text with you on this i mean barbas is a really cool dog go and grab other freku karakarusta boom whatever that is called and install that too f***ing nail the name i know this makes the bearers look actually intimidating as f grab the optional file and grab the main file and go and grab the whole mounted dead animals it's going to fix some of the crappy issues we have with those and grab both of those two files and install them i will also recommend to go and grab grant it's a nice companion if you like to play something like a hunter grant is located near hell again so you will encounter him on your road and you can have him follow you if you want to play hunter type of build because we're having the patch so we want grant to look super badass and super cute i might play a hunter myself actually similar to that dwarf from the world of warcraft classic cinematic 
This is expectations, this is reality, but we will fix that with this path, so don't worry about it. Let's go and grab Majestic Mountain, May Stains and Space Fixes. I have encountered many of those in my game, and we kinda don't want those to be there. Install Rift and Towers. This is an extremely small mode. You can see here the location. It makes the city look slightly better overall without adding way too much. Let's enhance how Soul Karn looks, including the custom ruins which is going to add some custom ruins in Sulkarn that it's going to add so much more life into it. Get the update version and get the main file here. And we're going to completely enhance Sulkarn by getting priorities Sulkarn here which makes everything look so much better. Go for the 2k version here. We have the skeleton replaced that we've got previously. This is such a really cute house in Sulkarn that I think it's really nice. So go ahead and grab the ESL version of this. And go and grab this one and lastly Sulkarn or Cairn I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong I'm not very good with pronouncing stuff Object Secure which works with the different locks that we've installed with the security overhaul. Let's go and grab HD Discover and here you have some options for the Sulkarn. I'm sorry if I'm putting all of those at the same time I like the replacer here it's kinda cool. Arvac Retexture. We're gonna grab this one as well. I'm a little bit afraid to go with four times the amount of bones although it does look super badass let's just go with twice the bones if you want to try something different go ahead i think soul car looks amazing as it is with this bluish lighting so i'm gonna keep that one i love the option too it feels so much more mysterious it says replacer with the what is it called when you find serana's mother and this is for the more ruins again those mods work together so install all of those and grab the enabled sound effect let's go and enhance how a bunch of creatures looks like i will uh, recommend you to go to rouge mod page here and click the most endorsements and go and grab all the ones you need here i'm going to install just a bunch of you so again i'm gonna drop you the link for his amazing mod page i am not going to grab everything i don't like how the chores look like how the mud crabs look look at this this is the vanilla spider and i'm sure you have arachnophobia here the next image is going to be very terrifying and look how those look now that feels like you're fighting a spider from australia this guy is an expert when it comes to making things oh my god much more intimidating like look at this holy shit why am i installing this what the fuck is wrong with me look at the chunky boy here in vanilla he looks actually cute and look at this this is intimidating this is something you run from let's grab two more mods since we're doing this the glimmering glow dust which is going to add a better animation to this too and also grab the dusty vampire dust which makes it much better for those of you who are planning to murder serana and turn her into one of those if you're going to do it at least make it look better go and grab the secondary file the static mess improvement version and install it go and grab the flaring fire salts uh go and get this mod here sometimes you won't be able to harvest some of those uh, whatever those are called even barnacles but this is going to fix it where you can harvest them in some weird locations that you could not previously very small thing but again we love small things in this channel go also ahead and get Shrider's black knife as you can see here there is some places or locations you will have those weird textures and this beautiful person managed to remove those you will find those small mods only in this channel because i'm the only person i guess who cares about those super small things let's also grab cooking with fire if you play zelda breath of the wild you know exactly what this does and a beautiful mod where you can use fire even a fire magic to cook some of the stuff you will find on the ground super immersive mod and lastly since i don't want this video to be over an hour long for you guys it takes lots of time for me to edit those let's grab shooting stars every once in a while you will be able to see some stars falling down the sky it's not going to cause any issues the mod is absolutely amazing go ahead and grab the shooting stars here and also go and grab the shooting stars 2k textures at least you can have some nice textures on those the orc teeth in skyrim look more fake than kim kardashian's but that is why we're going to use this mod to enhance them and every time you see an orc they're gonna look more like a real orc and i cannot play skyrim without this mod especially when it comes to interacting with orcs also let's grab postmere npcs have antlers which is going to do the same thing with a breton elven 
even ear mod we've installed and because the textures don't look really the best just like my life you're going to go ahead and grab bosmer npcs have antlers texture pack also installing bosmer antler pack install this one first then go and install the first main mod and on top of that we are going to install the texture pads as well and I will go with 8%. You can go for 50% if you want. And lastly, go and grab Kajit, Aesthetic, Complination. And we don't care about the hairstyles because we're going to use HD physics anyway. Those don't have it. Go and grab the Kajit Fangs and the photorealist Kajit Eyes. Go and grab assorted tiny tweaks and go ahead and grab all of those don't you hate it when you play necromancer in skyrim and you have the same animation for reanimation jesus what did i just say well not anymore because with this mod the reanimation is gonna feel so much more better and much more immersive you go to the files and download the main file which works for every single version go and grab animated coffins it's one of the very small things that animated clutter does not have on its own so go ahead and get that every time you're going to loot a coffin and it's going to open and play a little animation just like in real life go and get season of skyrim static mess improvement parts which for some reason i forgot to grab let's enhance some of the textures in solstice time god damn it cabo that's not how you pronounce sol sol solstice time listen larry if i'm gonna hear the same thing again i'm going to do to you the same thing i've done with nazim at the start of this video now go and download this mod right here and fix how the furniture look in solstice time grab this you know you want it you know you love it and let's also install participle lights for those so go ahead and grab the second file which is the one we run then let's go and get improved rock collision i mean this is exactly what it says go and get college of wither hall quest start fixes curated boss fights for true healed this is going to tweak some of the boss parts in skyrim when you fight some random bosses or mini bosses like the draug overload inside bleak force barrel and some other places like that where before they did not have boss parts which adds into the game if you ever consider how people have those boss plus play for specific NPCs is because they're using this mod extremely underrated if you ask me great mod cannot play Skyrim without this dragon souls heal you let's go and get ENB input disabler go and grab the second file here for Skyrim special edition so you're gonna have a much more easier time checking your ENB settings and let's go for our last mod and let's also grab whiskey signs that finally overhauls the signs however that's my most favorite one because look how realistic and immersive all of those signs look whiskey made an outstanding job with himself with this one and the problem with sign mods is that they don't work with some of the wind mods we have and this one works with it and then go and grab the patch here for three designs and whiskey signs compilation patches and grab only the first all right guys with this we are at the end of the video i would like to thank you so much for the support you shown and i only have to say one thing to you i love you no but yeah jokes aside i do love you and i will keep making skyrim videos However, there is a small situation that I need to talk with you about. I will not be able to make Skyrim videos for the next two months until later of August. You see I'm running a housing business, so I wanted to go to a place where finding internet is as rare as finding a male NPC nowadays in a modern Skyrim playthrough. So expect no videos from me for the next two months, but I give you my heart and I promise you that I love making those videos and I cannot wait to come back and make more. I will understand if you don't want to follow the channel but i just wanted to let you know those two things that i will come back after august and i will start making videos again popping videos as fast as i'm popping arrows when i see nazim in scary and the second thing is to let you know how much i appreciate the support you've shown me thank you for watching guys i'm really sorry for me missing but real life should always come first and i cannot wait to come back and continue this mod list the first video i am going to make once i'm back home to my real home that's Skyrim of course, nothing's wrong with that, it's not like I'm having mental illness or anything and I only get to feel things by making videos and releasing those on YouTube and not feeling anything with real people <coughs> anyway, my next big video is going to be regarding weapons, if you want to see that, follow the channel and I will see you at the end of August, until next time adventurers, it's me Kavu and I wish you to have beautiful two next months, see ya